Hello and welcome back, your friends. It's me, Odo. We are back in our campaign of um, Pathfinder, Wrath the Righteous. And at least this time, we want to um, to do the thing that we last time didn't do because we were too stupid right path <laughs> um where is this yes no What's the... no 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 um night gamblers mini game crescent is what's this maximize all crews that's build the main stables Okay. We'll do. We'll do. Um. Ah, there it is. Private Avarice versus Ramley. Ramley, not Raymond. Okay. Whatever. Let's go to the village ruins and end. Let's see if we find the stuff that has stolen. You go into center. Yeah, that's it. Okay. Yet another obstacle. Who's this guy? Hmm. Elder Frog. Okay, let's let's look at before we do something. Hmm, level nine. Ah, this is just a frog. Elder frog. He is level. Yeah, we can we can deal with them. First of all, let's put the greater magic thing on the pig. Simply business. A mirror image, yay. I really hate this. Let's do the AC thing on the Elder Frog. Think we we'll succeeded. Uh, too bad. It's just, it's just done for one round. So, okay, what are you doing? Like, and and haste is really a great spell. Kill. Len. Okay, you'll take an extra an extra attack. You've crossed the wrong mongrel. Good. Okay, you are doing a less 
Because nice. All of us. Now the Elder Frog it, it's done. Oh, he doesn't do anything. Interesting. Let's give the pig also the acid more. Let's put the solid target on this guy. But kill him first. Ah, come on. Really? He rolled a 20. Come on. Then you, you're not doing anything. Also, you, my pig. But you, Len. You won't survive me. You just get rid of all the mirror images. <laughs> Okay, uh let's let's just shoot there and get rid of the mirror images with the health. And there all the mirror images are Yeah, please do so. Oh, this was really wide open. This was quite some damage. Good, good. I approve. Oh, to the basement. There's a trap. I hope you appreciate this. Yes, we appreciate this a lot. Ooh. The cache opens with a the smell of dust, dried blood and rust hits your nose. Engraved amulets, dented armor, battered from heavy blows, a shield of a paladin of Iomide, a dwarven helmet with hair still stuck inside, a set of chain mail from Apache with a hole torn through his left side, worn out boots, its equal parts rubbish heap, scavenger's nest. No, we can't do a we can't do a chaotic thing because I said we have to do a block next. You shouldn't touch anything. Let the soldiers who come to collect the evidence take everything and make a list. Some of the relatives of the deceased might recognize these items and want to claim them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we are great. We are so good. Mm. 
Mm -hmm. Map. Why don't we know all this? I mean, we were here already. We killed the frogs there. No loot. Dead. I know the way. Yeah, I know. Because you were here already. I don't know why this is all. I mean, yeah. It's just down there for us to find. Come on, anything? Just two stupid frogs? Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, what to do next? I mean, hmm. The rubbish I'm just setting appears to be just for show. We must have more expensive and valuable items elsewhere. Maybe she simply wanted to blah 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 blah. blah. Okay, it's time to return to Rem. I wanted to read. We don't have to go to some, uh, some guy. At that spirit. Hmm. Let's go to the prison. Because he's outside of the prison. Mm -hmm. Let's get rid of this family guy. This is our first Eons thing that we. <laughs> Most of the time is loading screen. Uh, this is so like when I started to play games. When I had a, a, a Commodore 64, this was great. this was a great time.
that took so long everything. Okay, Ramley. I have... Ramley takes a step back, quickly regains his composure. Um, what kind? Find a hole in the ground with a few useless odds and ends inside. Oh, that's not... I've never seen it before. Tell him, Commander. Read the whole list and nail him to the wall. Among the blood-stained items, I found the shield of a paladin of Shadin, involved in chain mail, and a belt from Epsilon. Everything you wanted to sell me. Okay, wait. We we should have <laughs> remembered the things. Okay, it's easy because it's the paladin of Iomide. <laughs> Remini grows pale. Oh, Dad, you've got the wrong end of the stick. My friend asked me to keep it for him. You shall stand trial before the army of Dresden. Really? Should he? Probably, yeah. So we don't have to go to the citadel. That's faster. Because we are all so slow. Private Ramley is accused of plundering on the battlefield and reselling stolen items to other soldiers. Commander personally found a cache containing armor and other items, obviously taken from the deceased defendant. What do you have to say for yourself? You call this a fair trial? Why would the dead need armor and trinkets? Is our crusade rolling in money? Do weapons and amulets grow on trees? We need to keep everything that the living can use. The dead need nothing. Are you sure all of them were dead? Or did you kill the living? I need to know, Ramley. Look me in the eye and tell me if Sidin was alive or not. Look at me, Luther. Uh... Doesn't it? Uh, fine, you're the judge here, Commander. If you say that the death of my sister at the hand of another soldier doesn't matter, I guess it doesn't. We have no proof that Ramley killed his fellow soldiers. Based on the evidence we do have, Prison sentence is the appropriate punishment for him. Shall go to prison, where you will have ample time to reflect on your crimes. I have made my decision, Private Ramley. You work as a healer's assistant, doing the dirtiest and most tedious work that down for the crimes you have committed. Hmm. This is cool. But I will live, I won't be executed, I won't be locked up, I'm going to live, this is true justice. Is it your justice? Okay. Probably this wasn't good. <laughs> a cadet in well-worn travel robe with a deep hood offers you a respectful bow. Bow? Bow? Bow. The voice is quiet and emotionless. Velk. Hmm. Greeting. Order. To be granted an audience with a figure of such importance is a real honor. Your victory inspired me. Which is why I wish to do my part in the Crusaders' struggle. Okay. Who are you? The visitor's quiet words sound like the rustling of pages dry and impersonal. My name is Bell. I am a Khalid. 
my lineage dates back to the Sokorian clans and bonds to kinship, kinship have always been sacred to my family. When the world wound opened, my ancestors flay, fled Sarkoris, but they did not forget their homeland. Even before the Crusades began, my great-great-grandfather marched in defense of our purple people. He perished, as they all did. Hmm, sounds great. My great-grandfather and his eldest sons joined the first crusade. My grandfather joined the second. Our family's warriors have fought in every crusade, and that is why our bloodline is now extinct. Today this crusade will be the last, and so I've come. Alone for there is no one else. Alas, I'm no warrior, but I still wish to be of use to you. How do you plan to help? His words, devoid of color and emotion, run together to form a monotonous, tonus, endless stream. For 23 years, I have been gathering documents of Don Sarkoris. They contain numerous mentions of the history of the Blackwater clan. The clan was beset by demons, as its members have dedicated themselves to creating a powerful weapon against the world wound. The clan needed more time, but no support came for their neighbors, and so the backwaters were destroyed. But the fate of the clan is not important right now. What is important is that, thanks to certain ancient maps, I have been able to pinpoint the location of their settlement. If you go there, you'll be able to verify my findings. And if you happen to find a weapon that will help you fight the demons, it will bring me satisfaction. My life will have purpose. Okay. Oh. He's not good. Not a good one. A strange feeling of wrongness finally coalesces into a verdict. This man is lying to you. His magic may have hidden the luminescence of his aura, but only for a time. What kind of weapon was the Blackwater clan working on? My thoughts on this matter are pure speculation. Perhaps it was a blade that could cut down even a demon lord, or an artifact that could call upon an endless host of spirits, or a circlet that could reverse the flow of time or erase the planar invaders from reality. The Backwater Clan operated in secrecy to protect their work from spies. Unfortunately, an ever-present concern, and to avoid drawing the demon's attention before the time was right. You have an odd way to, of speaking. This pale expressionless face twists into a poor approximation of an apologetic smile. I'm a scholar. I know how to speak through manuscripts and prefer to express my thoughts using my quill instead of my tongue. Social interaction is not my area of expertise. Do I ask for your understanding when it comes to my rather rudimentary communication skills? Ooh, we could do a lawful thing here to to turn out the chaotic thing we did uh, one or two things before. Your trick will not help you. You cannot hide your deceitful nature from the Aeon's gate. Thank you. I'll put this information to good use. No! This was stupid. This is me. To be of use to you. No. <laughs> I should have thought about that. Darren, the air is filled with a spicy, heady fragrance, and steam gently rises from the bathtub. Darren is perched on the lip of the tap. 
holding on with both hands for balance while lazily swinging one leg. His face is depicted with innocence. Ah, my dear commander, you are just in time. I took the liberty of looking after your well-being and have prepared everything you need for a relaxing bath. Bathing for pleasure is most therapeutic indeed, and is essential for healing rest and sound sleep. What's that sweet smell? Mmm, a hot bath, exactly what I need. Thank you for this, it's very thoughtful. Your attempts to please me are commendable. You may continue your efforts. Could you perhaps not break into my private study without my permission in the future? Uh, let's ask after the smell. Why not? Herbs from mountain meadows. I know many professionals prefer to add scented oils, rose petals or foam to a hot bath, but I choose herbs. There are simply there are simply superior. They are simply superior in every respect. They inspire thoughts of freedom. Hmm. You are being too hard on yourself. You don't smell that bad. Not even after days spent traipsing through mud. <laughs> anyway. It's time for me to go. I shall leave you alone with this vessel of bliss. A rather dreadful turn of phrase, I admit. But what else am I to call a hot bath in the middle of this grim stone? Thank you, I will make the most of your gift. I mean, we could ask him to stay. Why not? I could. <laughs> but I won't. Have a nice soak. You deserve it. With a slight bow, Darren leaves. Okay. So we could take a bath. That is. Oh, we took a bath for one hour. Really? What's. Okay. An impressive procession makes its way toward you. It is led by a devil richly arrayed in, a f in fine clothing, closely followed by his servants. They survey those around them. But as the devil approaches you, he gives a nod and a slight satisfied smile. Can we just... Um... I want to see him from before. And a slight satisfied smile, as if finally finding something of importance. The famous, the famous commander of Dresden. News of you has reached even our deaths. My lord has taken an interest in you and has sent me to make you an offer. Okay. Sounds interesting. You notice the devil's clawed fingers are covered in rings. He puts a hand to his chest. Call me Melies. Commander, I think your acquaintance will be extremely interesting. We have so much to offer together. Have my, as you denizens of Golarian would put it, people with me. Of course, none of my soldiers are actually people in the strictest sense of the word. But all of them are ready to kill demons. Okay. So he doesn't like demons. I mean, he's a devil. Devils are... Um... Lawful evil. So... That's okay for us. How did you get into... Dresden demon? <laughs> oh, this would be harsh on him. Where are you from? Why do your devils look like normal people? An excellent question, Commander, and I think you know the answer. Not all Crusaders are experienced enough to distinguish a devil from a demon. They might even go after a thief who happens to be in the wrong place at the wrong time. We want to gain their trust, not arouse fear and suspicion. 
Yeah, of course. That's why my subordinates look the way they do. They need to appear as non-threatening as possible. Isn't your appearance unusual for an ordinary devil? The devil looks down at himself. Do you mean my jewelry? Well, I'm not one to begrudge myself anything. We may be strict disciplinarians in hell, but that doesn't mean we are all as that as catics. Okay. Succeed in a law religion check. In response to your searching gaze, maybe it stops smiling. Ah, I see. You are concerned about the wings of fire. I won't deny it. I'm not from the lower ranks. Looking menacing and grand befits me. But don't worry. If this place does burn down, it will most certainly not be because of my wings. <laughs> what offers do you wish to make me? Shall we ask him where he's from? Why not? From hell, Commander. <laughs> oh, that's a, that's nice. That's nice. Be more precise from Rainar, the abode of Lord Mephistopheles, the merchant of soul. Rainar is a kingdom of eternal darkness and endless. Our interests go beyond the fiction of suffering. Attracting the attention of the Lord of Kaina would mean some interesting new opportunities for you. Okay. What offer do you wish to make me? You go straight to business, and I like that. I must admit, of all the things to happen throughout Galarian's history, the Crusades aren't all that exciting. However, they do have their potential. Any war could mean hundreds of thousands. Okay. Okay, also, I've got my uh, Death Knight with me. He's also, he's also lawful evil. Death Knights are. The longer the war, the more doubt is sown in the minds of the soldiers. And in the end, they are left only with the banal primal instinct of survive. Is this not so? Crusaders must seek victory. But to seek victory, they must believe it is possible to achieve. What can sustain that belief, Commander? Faith in the gods? Faith in the queen? Well, probably not. Knowledge that they are protecting those be left behind at home? Strength? Say nothing. Ah, we could let him answer. He will answer. You don't need to answer. I will tell you. Strength. The knowledge that they are superior to the enemy. And I'm ready to give your soldiers this strength. On one condition, of course. You're offering strength to my soldiers in return for what? In return for the only payment that has any real value in hell. Their souls. Melius holds up a finger to forestall any possible objection. I know what you're thinking. This devil is going to lure me into his web of deceit and entrap me. To avoid any such disputes or complaints from either side, my contracts always include a complete list of all the terms and conditions. Really? Deception is not in my nature. Truth be told, I am too lazy. <laughs> I like him. Over the many centuries of my life, I have come to realize that deceit is never worth the effort. Mm. It's much easier to suggest something beneficial to everyone involved. People line up for those kind of comments, and I don't have to exhaust myself convincing anyone. I can leave you a copy. Copy. And you will see that it complies with the letter of the law, down to the smallest detail. Moreover, payment is delayed for as long as possible. I collect the soul only after death. 
but the stronger the soldier, the more likely they are to survive battle. So, if you think about it, contract actually increases their chances of staying alive by making it less likely they'll die. Wouldn't you agree? I am asking for your permission to make contracts with soldiers in the territory of Drazen, as well as with other types of persons, as long as they are legally capable adults of sound mind and memory. Hmm, interesting. <laughs> so he's a recruiter for hell. What will happen to the souls of those who sign the contract? As you have already guessed, they will go to hell. They will suffer and then they will serve one of the archdevils. Sounds terrible, doesn't it? But think about it in, different, in a different way. If a person of sound mind and memory signs such a contract, they probably think their current situation in Galarian is not much better than what awaits them in hell. Besides, those who are cruel enough and inclined to evil, and believe me, there are many of those among your soldiers, will get a chance in hell to work their way up from an ordinary demure, a creature of hatred to a devil like myself. Yeah, of course. From the mood to arch devil. <laughs> the American dream. It's likely these people will end up with us anyway. But thanks to the contract, they'll be able to use their new strength to serve you while they are still alive. He's really good at that. <laughs> I want to read the contract. What if I don't want to deal with the devil? Very well, you may sign contracts with my soldiers. I forbid you from signing contracts with my soldiers. I'll think about your offer and talk to you later. I want to read the contract. Of course, many as hands you a sheet of parchment covered in tiny... Cuneiform script. Ah, oh. Devil's Contract Temple only not to be signed. Temple only not to be signed. Material Plane Planet of Galarian Kingdom of Mende, Fortress of Dresden, Contract for Provision of Special Powers. Number dated. This contract is an agreement between hereinafter the Soul Seller and <laughs> yes, hereinafter the Soul Buyer. Upon signing this contract, the soul seller and the soul buyer shall agree to abide by the following provisions. Hell and the Lord Asmodeus, presented by the soul buyer, shall issue a loan to the soul seller in the form of abilities of a magical nature. These abilities shall exceed those of an average mortal mage and shall be granted for the full duration of the remaining period of the soul seller's life up until the moment of the soul seller's death. I don't know what the queen would say to this. I really don't want to know. The soul seller shall be ob obligated to hell and Lord Asmodeus represented by the soul buyer to surrender the soul seller's own soul to the soul buyer. Fully and indivisibly in perpetuity at the moment of the soul seller's death. The soul buyer shall be obligated to collect the soul of the soul seller at the moment of the soul seller's death and deliver it to hell, where the soul shall be engaged in the service of Lord Asmodeus for all eternity. The soul seller is under obligation not to use the abilities obtained as a result of signing the, this contract against the soul buyer and or the soul buyer's representatives. Any breach of the fourth clause of this contract shall incur a penalty in the form of the immediate collection of the soul seller's soul by means of the mortification of soul. Yeah, well, they will kill them. Upon execution of the third clause of this contract, held represented by devils, and archdevils is free to do with the soul seller's soul as it deems appropriate. 
at co all complaints regarding post-mortem handling of the soul in hell shall be deemed invalid. Okay. I hereby consent to the above agreement regarding the procurement and process process processing of the soul seller's soul and do hereby affirm that the signature on this contract is the soul seller's true personal name. Glory to Lord Asmodeus. <laughs> Great. What if I don't want to deal with it? You can deny me the right to sign contracts. In fact, you can forget about my existence entirely. However, you cannot ban me, banish me from present. I came to participate in the crusade, which is open to everyone by order of Queen Gelfry. Believe me, the last thing I want is to irritate the commander of present. However, Medius lowers his voice and his yellow eyes stare at you unblinkingly. Since you decided to organize your own little crusade of justice in Dresden, won't you need someone well-versed in law? We devils honor the law and, and follow it to the latter. The laws of men will dictate that within the fortress committed to their trust, the commander must hold tribunals before the representatives of the army. So you will likely see me at the hearings. Also, according to the laws of Mendes, I, as one of the officers, can speak about any case under consideration. I promise not to take advantage of this, these rights, Commander. But you see, I am bored with the trials in hell. All the participants are too experienced. The procedure is cut and dried. No, I am interested in Vandavian law. I want to see history in the making, how precedents occur and rules are written. It's a fascinating time we found ourselves in, don't you think? So many t different crimes and so many interesting decisions. All the honorable crusaders who thirst for justice. Very well, you may sign contracts with my soul. Why not? The devil smiles with satisfaction. Excellent, excellent. I had no doubt that you would do what's best for your army. My assistants will begin conducting the preliminary conversations today. If there's anything you wish to ask me, Commander, I'll always be close by. Yeah, I thought so. And another one. Who's that? Go away, Darren. Darren looks around as if not ex exactly sure. Oh, hey! <laughs> the devil's beside me. Ah, Commander, how is your our crusade go doing? Our crusade? You weren't ex ex exactly thrilled to join the crusade. Of course, it wasn't. I wasn't. But in unfavorable circumstances, a man cannot allow himself to wallow in gloom and despondency. What a man can do is look on the bright side of the whole situation and change his circumstances as much as possible. I, for instance, am certain that I'd be able to throw a rip-roaring party even in the crater of an erupting volcano with my hands tied behind my back. So what brings it? Oh, it's just a trifling thing. I wish to make a donation to the crusade cause. It seems a smart decision to me, because what's good for the crusade is now tightly intertwined with what's good for yours truly. I did have to give the revenue from my estates a good shake-up and send a few Warriors scurrying about, but in the end I managed to acquire a couple of decent items. All in all, there is my here is my donation to the crusade and its commander. You must try them out for yourself. I offer these gifts from the bottom of my heart. Uh, a wand of pox postules and a wand of ray of sickening. Hmm. Thank you, these will come in handy. 
you finally proved useful at least. I can sense your own agenda in your choice of gifts. Clever. I don't know your clarity your charity, take them away. I can sense your own gender. Hmm. I thought you... Uh, Darren smirks slightly. I thought of you while selecting these gifts, and now I must beg your forgiveness and bid you farewell. I still have plans to order and send a package of special gifts to my dearest cousin. By the way, Take a closer look at my gifts. You may find something special in there. Really? Okay, let's look at his gifts. Darren's gift. An exquisite pendant shaped like a key. If you look at the key from a specific angle, the pattern of its engraving forms the letters, the first letter of your name. Interesting. If I put it around my neck. What does it do? Hmm. Doesn't do anything, does it? But I don't have an amulet right now, so... And we got these two. A wand of Pux Pustule. And Ray of Sickening. Give it to her. Why not? Okay, my dear friends, I'll stop here. I hope you enjoyed it. See you soon. Bye.